December. Well, it's that time of the year again where I do uh, my firewood. So I thought I'd make this uh, quick video. Um, I started actually making this video early in the spring when I uh, decided to do some uh, a facelift, I guess, on my woodshed that you see behind me. I made this about six years ago. It's just a quick uh, uh, put together. Uh, basically a solar shed, woodshed, I guess. And uh, but we're selling the place, so I wanted to give it a little bit of a facelift. So, um, basically what I did to the shed is uh, I... I added some plywood siding. You can see the plywood here, and uh, I always had this uh, this design in the truss here, so I just uh, filled it in, and made it, try to make it a little nicer looking, and put some battens and uh, some stain. And uh, all right, so the front just just again plywood. I just did a little bit of uh, I had some leftover battens here. I uh, I used here. To just to uh, trim, trim up the sides a little bit. The door is a, it's just a roll up door. And the plastic I'm using is actually a marine vinyl. It's a very thick plastic. Um, this roof has been on this for almost eight years. And you can see it's fairly thick. It's got to be a good millimeter thick extremely uh, rugged uh, I've seen this just get full of snow uh, two three feet of snow and uh, I just go inside and tap the roof and snow falls off so I got a nice of course nice slope roof which helps um, so I, I, I wanted to finish the front and the side that faced, faced the road so it looked a little nicer and I left the the other two sides uh, is finished with plastic so the sun most of the sun comes from this side uh, because the front is covered by trees I got all these trees here so so when uh, I get the midday Sun which is on the top uh, I can get a good uh, bit of Sun in there and then the back so I got one of these roll-up doors on front roll-up door in the back inside the trusses are just, uh, you know, nice triangle truss, two by sixes here, uh, and then this piece here is just a two by four. And what I've done here is I'm using the top part of this for drying my uh, the lumber I make with uh, the sawmills, and then. Uh, the side here coming in, I got a nice little spot here for some kindling, and I put all the kindling here so my wife can uh, can easily grab kindling if I'm not around, uh, and then uh, so I can put quite a bit of kindling in here, and then I've got these. I used uh, four by four posts instead of two by fours just because I wanted uh, lots of strength. Uh, when I was leaning the wood up against these posts so I can fit uh, One row on the back here, and then let's see one two three, So the four three more rows I guess um, And then This side here is all real nice dry wood that I'm be using uh, Actually this stuff isn't dry, but it won't take very long so I use this stuff first and then um, as I bring in my wood here anything wet will go in the back so that uh, it dries through the winter so this is a uh, so if, if you have a swamp in your backyard um, this is alder and uh, it actually is a phenomenal wood for burning uh, so what I do is I I'll go and cut uh, alder and I'll just leave the the trees uh, it doesn't grow very big three inches to two and a half inches is isn't decent size but the heat that those little trees put out is just amazing so I'll just cut a bunch of them and I'll lay them down and I'll leave them dry for 
a year or so and I'll come back and uh, pick them up the year later and uh, so I've always got a bunch of them that I cut in the, the swampy part of my land and they, they don't take very long to grow in four or five years they're, they're back it seems so um, most of this is as you can see looks like rotten wood it is it's uh, I like to just clean up my land from anything that's rotten so that's why I store the wood outside I don't store any wood inside the the cottage uh, for that reason uh, so last year I made this little uh, just outside the door uh, wood bin so from the road all you see is this front part here and it looks pretty nice you know I've got the little shingles on the top here and uh, I used some pieces of battens I had stained left over from the cottage uh, from my shed so uh, has a nice little look and my wife usually puts a nice little uh, wreath on it or something decoration for the winter and uh, so usually what I do is I I keep the top of this uh, full of kindling and the bottom is just full of regular uh, wood and uh, it stores about uh, weekends worth of wood but what's great is uh, it's very convenient my uh, my stove is just across my door when I enter the cottage so um, I with this just outside the door I can open the door grab a stick close the door throw it in the stove so I don't have to store any wood inside uh, the stove and like I just showed you guys I burned some wood with uh, bugs in it so uh, typically uh, this works pretty good um, and the bugs, bugs stay frozen in the winter so they go right from uh, outdoors into the stove directly so so anyways little uh, tips and tricks for you so I'll end the video here by just showing you guys a little sawhorse um, jig I made myself a couple days ago um, I just used some uh, pieces of um, uh, lumber I had made there with the chainsaw mill um, and uh, ripped them up on the table saw and I'm using these uh, these are they're six inch um, uh, I guess some kind of lag bolt that you can you can buy at the hardware store and they're they're really strong um, so the way I, I made it precisely uh, like 32 inches wide so I can put a stick in here and uh, cut it in half and so like a 32 inch stick cut it in half and I get two pieces out of it and then when the pieces are smaller so like this stuff here is pretty big so um, you know I can I can lug 32 inch piece of this around and uh, when things are a little smaller then I'll uh, I'll put a like a 64 inch piece in and I'll I'll have you know 16 inches sticking out each end and then I can just saw it up like this and and then saw the other end and then come back and do the the center so with the uh, the electric uh, corded chainsaw this uh, this uh, little jig works great um, I get my power here from the shop so I can plug it in so I use the uh, battery chainsaw in the woods to kind of chop up the logs there a decent size throw them in a the wheelbarrow bring them over and when they're really big I cut them up in the in the, the woods but um, and then I'll uh, bring them over here and chop them up here so I get to keep all my sawdust and uh, what I usually do with the sawdust is I'll collect it and uh, I, uh, I'll i probably make another video I'm, I'm gonna put a, a nice compost bin here next to the uh, the woodshed once I've, uh, I've uh, chopped up this yellow birch here that I've had for a little while um, so anyway, so that's uh, that's how I uh, do my firewood. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, bye for now.